exotic tick species has invaded several states in the U.S. It was found in New York this week, and experts say Canada could be next. Researchers say the Asian longhorned tick is mostly a threat to livestock, but it can also potentially be a threat to humans. Now, uh, the Canadian government is keeping a close watch on these bugs, but there's still some questions. They don't know how they got into the U.S., and they don't know when and if they'll cross the border here into Canada. The greatest concern is partly is the, the fear of the unknown here. We've never seen this species before. And again, the extent to which it could uh, spread through North America is unknown. It does have uh, a number of uh, features that are unattractive. Canada and especially Toronto are no strangers to ticks. But the Asian longhorn tick has never been detected in Canada. The research scientist at the Public Health Agency of Canada says they were first discovered in New Jersey last year, survived a winter, and since June have now been discovered in seven other states. Though it's unknown how the bugs made their way over to the U.S., they're native to East and Central Asia and have been found in other parts of the world, just never Canada and never the U.S. until now. We're going to be watching the situation closely. Presently, there we've never detected this species. How likely is it that this tick can make its way to Canada? The probability is fairly good. I mean, it's already been found in downstate New York and in central Pennsylvania. And, of course, the, the, its occurrence in these Atlantic states of New Jersey, Maryland, Virginia. I think the potential for them to colonize new areas within North America, which could include Canada, is there and we have to be vigilant. There is a tendency for them to be on uh, medium and, and large a animals, including livestock like sheep and cattle, mostly is where they're found outside of uh, North America. And they can be deadly. When the populations build up to very high levels, they can cause problems with blood loss in these animals. And again, they can transmit infections to livestock as well. Uh, there's an infection of the red blood cells that is, uh, can cause fatalities in, in livestock. The good news? Experts say there haven't been any disease-causing agents located in these ticks who prefer mostly moist and shaded environments most. But they are able to carry and transmit local bacteria and viruses. And what leads to the increase in population, an unusual condition in the female ticks known as virgin births, where a male isn't needed for reproduction. And the problem with that is, from our standpoint, is population can build up very quickly. Given Canada's climate, can this tick survive here? It has overwintered in New Jersey. If it can survive the winter in New Jersey, there's probably parts of Canada that would, would support its uh, development. And Dr. Lindsay says there still needs to be more genetic work done in order to learn more about these ticks as to how you can protect yourself. Well, he says remain vigilant and use the same protective measures you would with any other ticks. That includes using repellent as well as wearing light clothing and checking yourself along with your kids and pets after heading outside.